Hey, 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 everybody. How you doing? Last Outrider here with another video. Three in two days. What am I out of my mind? It's crazy. <clears throat> this is going to go back to uh, another popular request I get, and I also feel bad for not releasing videos in a long time, so I I'm doing this out of guilt, really. One of the frequent requests that I often get is to comment on other channels' videos, uh, which, until now, I've never done, because why? Uh, but, like I said, out of guilt, I'm going to do it, and I, I've gotten a lot of questions on new races in 40k. What do I think of new races in 40k? And I figured, you know, it's a fair question. The truth is, though, there's no way I can answer that question without everybody knowing what I'm talking about. So if I start talking about uh, the, the rack goal, for example, I can pretend <laughs> that one mind syndicate doesn't have a whole bunch of videos talking about new races in 40k, blah, 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 blah. But anybody with half a brain is going to know that I'm referencing those videos. So I'm not going to pretend like you're a bunch of idiots. I'm talking about those videos. Not because I want to talk about those videos, but because I get questions and people are going to come and ask me, what do you think of so-and-so's video about so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so and so-and-so? Here's my answer to new races in 40K. It's bullshit. What? Okay, 40K was originally a role-playing game called Rogue Trader, and the Imperium has encountered hundreds of thousands of Xenos races categorized by the Legio Biologis. The real question people are asking when they say, what do you think of new races in 40k is, what do you think about the possibility of new playable races in 40k? Uh, if you just look at 40k lore, the Imperium encounters new races all the time and promptly exterminates them. <laughs> Quite honestly, actually, it's uh, it's it's not the Imperium, it's the Legions of Mars, the Cult Mechanicus, that is encountering new races all the time, new species all the time, and just wiping them out. Is is actually what happens. Now, now, if you go back to Rogue Trader, you're going to find out that there's all types of races out there that we've known about for, for decades. You know, you're talking about the Hrud. We've known about them. Uh, another popular one, the Enslavers. There's fluff dedicated to them. Uh, we, you know, but <clears throat> due to the... How can I say this nicely? Due to the douchebaggery of the hyper-competitive player who sees Warhammer 40k as a tournament game instead of a role-playing game as it was originally designed, Games Workshop has only reduced playable races over the years, not expanded them. Um, I mean, people then point out and say, yeah, but they added the Tau. Yeah, they added the Tau after they removed three other races. So you're still at a net loss here. I mean, you remember we had the Zotes, we had Squats, um, Orcs, and Gretchen were originally two different 
playable races, two different, completely different army lists, which then got combined together. Um, w when you consider all of that, oh, and of course the Eldar, we didn't start with just Craft World Eldar. The Eldar used to have, you know, the Maiden Worlds and Planet Side Eldar and uh, uh, Craft World Eldar, again, originally as two separate playable lists. Um, there's been a lot of shrinkage in 40k. So when you ask, hey, what, what, what do you think about new races? I'm going to sit there and say, well, from an RPG standard, basically GW took the, the, the philosophy of if you're a role-playing gamer, um, nothing stops you from creating your own new race. In fact, there's tables in Rogue Trader that shows you how to create your own new race just on your own anytime you want if you want to go off and play dark heresy uh the sky's the limit you don't have to wait for freaking games workshop to release rules on a new race just do it so if you ask are there going to be more new playable races probably not because of the incredible headache it would come from trying to balance them with all of the hyper competitive types out there that you know if they release anything new it would have to be play tested into oblivion i mean they have a hard enough time just getting rid of the exploits that exist now you could imagine bringing in something completely new they took care of that by bringing in the ally system. Now, instead of creating new races, you can just kind of mix and match from the playable races that you have already, and you'll be able to create the effect of a new race without actually creating a new one, um, is how I see it. I mean, really, if you want to say the latest newable, new, quote-unquote, new race would be, you know, the Cult Mechanicus. You know? But really, obviously, they've been there from the beginning. That's the other problem. If you create something new, you're going to have to somehow fit it into the canon that's been going back to the beginning, of which Mars has been there from the beginning, so that's why they can do that. Uh, I, like I said, the next two major candidates I could imagine if they ever get around to it would be the Hrud and the Enslavers because they've also pretty much been there since the, since the Rogue Trader days. So have the, uh, the, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but my favorite race has always been the uh, Psychnuian or basically these intelligent bees or wasps um i i just remember that because that that was the first uh enemy that i had to fight in the rogue trader first rogue trader campaign i was ever in uh they were so i i remember them uh zotes were were also fun you, you could bring them back but then you'd have to kind of rewrite what tyranids are so, so from that standpoint, you know, if you if you play Dark Heresy, GW is not holding you back. Okay, create any new race you want; they're already there. Bring the squats back. Okay, there you go. You want to call them a new race? Uh, just do whatever you want to do. Uh, say you're going to the Crone Worlds and create an entirely new type of Eldar, okay? Uh, uh, um, you know, people have played around with Chaos Orcs for freaking decades as well, or, or Chaos uh, uh, Nids, that, those would be new races. Even Horus Heresy books in and of themselves are filled with Xenos races, uh, that are that are in the different stories. You could just pick any one of them and introduce it. Uh, you could pick any of the ally races of the Tau and and just psh, develop that more. There's no need to wait for GW to tell you 
this is a new race. They're already there. Use your imagination, people. Uh, that's what I would say. You don't, you don't really need any theory or, or guessing about what GW is going to do. Just create your world and have fun with it. I mean, look at, look at Vulcan. <clears throat> I, I made the video on, on the Primarch Vulcan, right? They already hinted that he has this entire history of world hopping, a Star Trek kind of background where he's exploring the galaxy, looking for uh, where he hides these artifacts and meets all these races and dot, 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 dot. As an adventure, which you could easily craft in Dark Heresy as a campaign right there. <clears throat> so, what do I think of new races? I think they've always been there. Use your imagination, create your campaign, and have fun with it. That's my answer. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>